Here is Slingshot, Napa Valley, Cabernet Sauvignon, 2014. About 20 bucks. What I really think is interesting is if you look closely, you see this little dot that is part of the bottle. You know, slingshot, somebody slung a rock or a bullet to try to get the bullseye. And so they uh, got that part of the of uh, the thing they set up, either they were shooting a gun or like I said, a bow and arrow or a slingshot. So it's um, it's pretty interesting. Um, 14.5% alcohol by volume. We proudly craft the slingshot wines from our family's Napa Valley vineyard, boasting a rich palette of dark fruit and subtle hints of French oak. This wine leaves you wanting more. Enjoy slingshot as you forego your own path and discover your own adventure. Remember, wine should be fun. Brother and sister. Here is the wine in the glass. It is, wow, very, very opaque. I barely, I really cannot see through it. So we're definitely looking at a very dark wine. Uh, very ruby around the edges, but as I said, Getting into the core of things, this just gets really deep, deep dark purple. And yeah, really cannot see through it. Um, oh wow, big nose. Getting like blackberries. A little bit of cherry, some plum. Getting a little bit of hints of, of vanilla. So we definitely get that oak resonance on there. Maybe a little bit of uh, cigar box. Get the tobacco. Cassis. Maybe a little bit of bacon spices. Hmm. I think there's definitely some some other spices playing off of this. I can't quite pinpoint them. Kind of is drawing a little bit of heat, probably from the 14% alcohol. So you can definitely smell the alcohol. All right, well, that's, oh, wait. Maybe a little hint of blueberry. Maybe just a whiff of that. Maybe a little bit of espresso as well. Yeah, those are kind of coming through for me. All right. Mm -hmm. Here we go. It's 
two of them are set. Hmm. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow. Huh. Has a light jamminess to it. Nice rich berries. Uh, get that cherry. A little bit of blackberry. A little bit of um, plum. Definitely get some nice oak on there. You get that vanilla. Some nice sort of maybe cigar box. Maybe uh, um, the cedar on there. Uh, cherries. Maybe like, maybe like some like dried fruit kind of on there. Like a dried berry, dried cherry. Maybe, maybe a, um, a raisin-ness flavoring as well. Maybe like a little bit of sweet raisin on there. That vanilla just really melds well together. Still, still tasting it. Really great finish. Really gives me, um, that vanilla is still sort of playing in there. Those berries are really still playing in there. In the back, I'm sort of getting this sort of nice, mellow, gentle, sort of just tingling feeling in the back. Um, definitely a big wine. It is a very big um, wine with bold flavors. Um, as I mentioned, you do, do definitely get that grip. Uh, kind of a little bit of bite on there from uh, probably those bacon spices uh, that I mentioned. Um, it is relatively smooth going down. Tannins are really not harsh at all. So it is a smooth wine. It just has really potent, bold flavors. Um, that if, if you're new to wine, or you're wine that prefers lighter wines, probably wouldn't like this. But if you do like, um, if you do like big, bold wines, if you just even like wines in general, uh, you kind of just like the whole spectrum from like mild to heavy. Um, overall, I think this would, this is definitely a good wine. You know, for definitely big cab drinkers, Zin Syrah drinkers, I think, um, uh, you know, you would all love it. Um, wow. Well, Still very strong nose. Uh, finally now the taste is starting to go away. So I mean definitely, definitely a very long finish. So definitely a bottle you can enjoy um, over a long period of time. Um, well, both probably in the cellar and throughout the night, as I mentioned, 14.5. So. Start this early or share with friends or family. Um, final rating, I mean, it's 2014, so three years, going on three years on it. Um, definitely could see aging potential on this for another few years. So, but other than that, there's really no flaws to this wine. Great nose, great flavors, great finish. So I'm going to leave this at a, um, geez, four and a half out of five. We've, uh, we've been doing really good on these wines lately. I'm really impressed. Really impressed and uh, really glad that I've been uh, trying great wines. Of course, as I mentioned, I don't really review bad wines, but um, we're, we're, we're knocking out a few four and a halves here. So, um, well, until next time, everyone, which will be in a few days, 
Uh, I've got a lot of whites coming up. In fact, when you watch this video, you'll probably see me post a few whites and rosés, or a rosé, on YouTube. It's because I haven't gotten around to posting my reviews yet, so I probably will, I think I got four videos to post. Um, all done at different times throughout the past couple weeks, so don't worry. I'm not drinking four bottles of wine in one night. Just drinking four bottles of wine over the course of a week or two, uh, so that makes it a whole lot, a whole lot better. But um, uh, anyway, um, yeah. Uh, well, I will see you all in a few days, and as always, happy drinking and cheers.